We are heading down to Worcester today uh, for another trophy drop off. Uh, we're going to see Ben Allen. Um, great story with Ben actually. It's perfect. Um, it's perfect example of actually having the mindset to be able to start again. Now. In my personal opinion, Ben didn't necessarily start again, but what he did is he moved from his hometown where he was quite an established personal trainer, quite an established face-to-face -face personal trainer, and he moved to live with his um, his girlfriend. Um, so brand new town, brand new city, brand new environment, uh, brand new friends, brand new everything. So essentially to a lot of people starting again. Um, he came to us just a few months ago um, because he wanted to really grow his business online now he was only doing I think it was 300 pounds um, three months in working with us he's just hit his first trophy so the 2,000 pounds per month uh, business growth award uh, that we're heading down to Worcester now to to hand over to him but yeah really really interesting story here we go first one I know come quite fast actually I'll just say yeah. car, like it's not been it was eight weeks ago, wasn't it, that we started? Not, not long, like, at all. Ooh. That's mad. I've got like a lovely pile at the moment, there you Cheers, go, man. Well deserved. <laughs> well deserved. Make sure I'm not opening it upside down. Open. There she is. <laughs> hey. Giving you the 10k one by mistake. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Obviously that was, mm. I remember when I first started up with you eight weeks yeah. ago, we had the call and you asked me where do I want to be in a year's time and I remember I said like yeah. between 3 and 4k yeah. in a year's time would be nice hmm. um, which obviously I did say to you at the time it might seem quite small but obviously for me like at hmm. the time where I was 3 or 4k was what I was earning with PT I was happy I was doing well and it was just a case of because I was in a position where I wasn't doing what I wanted to be doing yeah. Yeah. not in terms of like uh, the profession but in terms of the amount of volume I was putting through it was um that to me was like okay from where i am to that would be incredible but then like obviously hitting 2k in the eight weeks makes you realize Quick. just little strategies because it's like i said mm. i said to my dad oh, obviously mm. i had my graduation last week i saw him yeah and he came through with like talking about like i said to you at first he was skeptical about this like we mm. said the older generation might yeah. be this is all like online coaching yeah. mentoring it's all something that is yeah. quite new definitely and um then when i told him obviously about the turnaround in terms of business growth he started getting on board. Yeah. Like me as a coach, like you can't advertise 24 seven support yeah. and not give it. Yeah. And yeah. coaching, I'm trying to help my clients. I actually had a conversation this morning with a guy yeah. who's looking for coaching. I sent him a voice note because he said, I don't want to have to like weigh my food to the gram. I don't want mm -hmm. to do this. And I was like, what you find you can do. Mm -hmm. I said, at the start, when you're trying to get into things, it takes 90 days to build a lifestyle. And that's what we're mm -hmm. trying to achieve. We're trying to build a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You'll get to a point where you, if you are a little bit more meticulous at the start, so you get into the habit of almost forcing yourself to change, because yeah. that's the whole point. People want a coach because they want to change. Yeah. You can't say to someone, I want to change, but I don't want to change what I'm doing. Yeah. You have to be willing to change what you're doing in order Agreed. to change. Luckily, all of my friends up here are um, personal trainers, oh, literally, perfect. all of them. So <laughs> yeah. So I, I actually, I'm the opposite. I don't have anyone in, in my, everyone in my sort of circle that's in, the industry around mm. this is, is from a business standpoint. Mm. Um, all of my all of my school friends are typically sort of living the the blueprint of life. So yeah. I'm, I'm the only one that's kind of doing things for myself. So all of my friends back home, I was talking about like my friends here in Worcester mm. are um yeah yeah are in the fitness industry. All the all my boys back home, they're um they're all doing industry mm. and doing that and everything. And um yeah, it is it's different. It's different when you talk to them about like what they're they're yeah. doing and stuff because obviously like you said at the start the difference between like actually the the benefit of doing this it's such a just like good job to do in terms of like how it makes you feel change your mind because they they when they're talking about things that are going well in their job they're mm. obviously doing it for them and they're they're making their bosses happy which makes them happy yeah but for me it's like when i see one of my clients like i did the instagram talking video yesterday mm. and that client made that comment that He's got out of the mindset of oh it's all about weight and he's actually yeah. seeing the progress genuinely makes you feel good exactly which is different because you're actually making a difference in people's lives you're not just putting more money in exactly. wealthier yeah. people's pockets yeah no problem no and problem. yeah i look forward to yeah what's to come
DOANG